Yes. 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 Play the meme. Finally, since like it was first introduced or heard of that this set was coming out, I was so excited. And I thought I was going to be one of the first people to review this pack. That was so not the case at all. Totally was not the case. But I finally found it. Ever since I believe it was released in like, October or November when it was first heard of, I was like so excited. So excited. So, like, ugh. And I was like disappointed. You know, I, I've been asking some people, you know, if they could probably, you know, uh, if they ever find it, you know, maybe do some sort of trade. But one day I just walked into t t Target, you know, expecting, uh, you know, maybe I'll find some new. 2018 diecast, and I saw this standing out in the open. Last one, too. So, I, I was like flipping out, like when I was walking up to the store, or when I was walking up to the cash register, and I, you know, I got it with my money, you know. Oh, it was like the best day ever, and it was like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the box. As you can see, it's the next gen 4 pack with all. Four exclusive cars here, all of them exclusive, and my favorites are all of them, actually. I have to say my least favorite, maybe the Toe Cap one, but it's still amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy to finally have this pack, as you can see right here. It says, first look um, at four next-gen racer racers from the movie uh, Toe Cap, Intersection RPM, and uh, Trunk Fresh. Um, let's turn around the back. As you can see, you can look the other four pack, which I do have. You can see the name J J D McPillar flipped over, Barry D Pedal, and Steve Slick LePeg. I think I said that right. Um, yeah, recreate scenes from Cars Three. Uh, the race for the Piston Cup continues with the new racer breaks like McQueen's uh, winning streaks. Um. Yeah, this thing was 15, it is $15, but if you ever see it, get it, because we don't know if these will be released. Um, blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed um, out of the sport he loves. Um, uh, to get back on top, he will need help of a young technician, inspiration from the late Battle of the Horn, and guides him and a few old friends along the way. Alright. I cannot wait any longer. I'm just gonna get this thing opened up. So happy to finally have these guys. All right, so I have them out of the package, and let's take a look so far at Flip Dover. I'm probably gonna forget the names because I don't have the box with me. Um, but yeah, here is Flip Dover, and as you can see, he is the intersection racer. As you can see, he says intersection on his hood, and he was revealed. Um. I believe he was like one of the first next gens revealed actually, uh, driving up in the first teaser trailer. So it's pretty cool to have him. That's because he has a nice pink, kind of sparkly color to it. And he has the same intersection logo, um, just like the first one does on this hood. Number zero. They're the sponsors. The vents right there and the white bumper. White trim around the wheels. And there are the rookie stripes, number zero. Actually, zero, zero. <laughs> and yeah, let's compare them to the first one, which, to be honest, this is kind of inaccurate. I feel like that his color should be this color. You know, kind of like similar to that color. Because that's how he was in the movie. But here he is. Because they are pretty similar. Because they both have, like, the white line. But it, this is more kind of smooth, straight, kind of simple. Well, this is kind of, you know, a lot, I guess you could say. Still the same logo on the hood. Of course, this is bigger, this is smaller. See, we can look at the side. Here's the back. As you can see, it only says intersection on the spoiler. This is right here. Bringing autos together. Of course, he doesn't say it because I don't think any of the next gens really have slogans. 
Here's the base. And yeah, uh, there's flipped over. Now let's get take a look at the next gen toad cap racer. Um, as you can see, he has like purple, yellow, and blue, and a little bit of brown in there. He has like a lot of colors. Of course, the original was purple and a little bit of yellow. Actually, this is more of a yellowish green, I guess you could say. He does have yellow. Don't think, yeah, he does not have blue he, and neither brown. So, yeah, let's take a look at him. He has the Tim Treadless model, and flipped over has the Danny Swervis model. But, um, anyways, as you can see, here he is. He looks really cool. like the grill a lot. Um, number four on the side. Toe cap right there. Of course, uh, I don't think... Wait, does he have a slogan? I think they took out the, uh, hitch protector. Yeah, I think they took out... The, okay, so I just want to say right now there's a bad slogan on here. Yeah, I think they took it out. I think... Okay, but anyways, he does not have any slogan, so he just says toe cap. Really cool, though. I really do like it. Number four, the arrow, kind of like. And it has a toe hitch right there on the back. I like the wheels, they're... Then middle gray with a little, like more of a silver, and it has a yellow line around it, and rookie stripes in the back, like always. So here is the RPM. Now, sadly, I don't have him. Uh, Bruce, I think that's his name. Uh, the RPM racer. He is so hard to get. Um, but hopefully, I will get it. I hope I do get it because it's pretty rare. But anyways, here's the back RPM number sixty-four. As you can see, he has a nice line, and he's purple. The original one, I believe, was kind of yellowish. So, yeah. But he also did have orange as well. I think he might have had... I can't really remember RPM that much. Uh, the new one. He has a blackish purple, a dark, dark purple roof. It's kind of... A, actually, no, it's more of a black, really has this little line right there. Nice spoiler. And just because they're both purple, I thought I would compare him to Danny. Yeah, the purple is off because he's more of a purple. He's more of a sparkly kind of purple. Actually, no, he's more of a bluish purple. This is more of a purple. So yeah, they are different. So don't get them confused. Even though their spoilers are the same, same thing as flipped over. And the next one we're about to take a look at. But yeah, uh, dark blue rims as well. So here is the last one. I believe he had a Steve in his name. And uh, so here he is, out of the package. Um. Alright, well, here is the next Trunk Fresh Racer, and this guy is probably one of my favorites, next to Flipped Over. He is so metallic, like, so much foil. There's two, three different colors of foil, which if you don't know what that is, it's like that gold color on, um, Danny Swervis. There is so much on him, and I think there's too much. I feel like they probably should have added a normal silver, or just made him metallic. Um, but as you see, he has a lime green, a silver, and a gold. Wait, no, and a normal green. What am I saying? Okay, so he has, like, a goldish lime green right there. Then he has silver. It's so hard to see all of it. Th there we go. Good angle right there. You can see the 34, how it's like a mix-in. And you can kind of see the sponsors. If you see it like that... I feel like they should have made it a different color, or maybe just not foil. The sponsors are there. It's so hard to see. I can't even see it in real life, but it's there. It is there. Trust me, people. It is there. But he also has green, which I did like the trunk fresh right there. And trunk fresh right there. Although it's a little squished in, really. Trunk fresh. They should have made it black. The sponsors on the side because that way you could totally see it. it's like so reflective and he does have a nice 
different kind of green to it, which I do like, and black rims. But as you can see, uh, we have next compared to um, the, the Cars 3 Trunk Fresh. As you can see, they have the same color scheme. Black, you know, which this is a really dark green, so it's close to black. And green. And, um, they both have 34. Of course, the 34 is in a silver foil color. Here's the back. Trunk Fresh is one of my favorite sponsors, and I do like the new one. But, yeah, here's the base. But anyways, this was the next Gen 4 pack. You find it, you have to get it. It's like, really rare. It took me forever to find it. They're starting to pop up more in stores now, which I'm happy about. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.